Hey, what's up guys, and welcome to Learn PHP Basics, the installation video. So in this episode, we are going to teach you how to install PHP for a Mac and a Windows. And this is pretty simple. Uh, let's go ahead and just jump into it. Okay, so if we're on a Mac, we can go ahead and open up Terminal, and the odds are that you probably already have PHP installed. So you can run php-v, and you can see which current version of PHP you have on your machine. So like I said, in most cases, you will probably already have PHP installed. But if you do not, we can go ahead and open up a browser and go to brew.sh. And this will take us to the homebrew page. And this is a package manager to install command line apps and other commands on your Mac. So what we can do is we can just copy this and paste this into terminal and that will install homebrew. So I already do have homebrew installed. And after we install it, you can see that we can run this command brew and we can install certain packages. In this case, it says brew install wget. But in our case, we want to install PHP. So we'll say brew install PHP. Okay, and after the install, you can then run PHP V and you should see your current version of PHP running. So that's great. We now have PHP installed for our Mac and we are ready to uh, get into some code and learn how to program in PHP. So what I usually like to do is I like to create a new folder where I store all of my sites or all of my projects. And I typically store this in a folder called sites. So I will go ahead and create a new folder at my home directory slash sites. And now if I cd into sites, you see that there's nothing in there. And maybe we want to go ahead and create a new site, a new project. And actually, if I go to my home route right here, I usually like to drag this sites folder over here to the left. So now anytime we want to get to our sites, we can just click on that folder. So I'm just going to call this my first PHP app. And I'm going to open this up in a text editor. And I'm just going to run PHP echo hello world. And we'll want to save this as index.php. So whenever you save a file with a .php extension, it is telling the operating system that this is a PHP file and this file will be served up as a PHP file. So what we need to do since we have PHP installed on our machine is we can CD into our project and we can run a local server. So I can say PHP dash capital S and I want to run a local server on localhost 8000. So once I have that running, I can now open up a browser and go to localhost 8000. And sure enough, you can see that we just printed out hello world. So now we have PHP installed on our machine and we just created our first hello world PHP app. So next up, we're going to jump over to a Windows machine and show you how you can do this using Windows. If you're on a Mac, you can skip this portion of the video. Okay, now let's jump into installing PHP on Windows. So we can do this if we visit windows.php.net slash download. And then we can scroll down here and we should see a version. I'm just going to install 7.2. So I'm going to download this zip file. And then there is one more file that we need to download. So we do need to install one of these Visual C++ redistributable for Visual Studio Code. And these are very small files and they're easy to install. And you just need to install these because it has a few libraries that are required for PHP. So let's click on download. And let's download either the x64 or x86 version. So let's say next. And we will save this. And then let's go ahead and open up our downloads folder. And we need to find the zip file, which was named PHP 7.3.3, actually 7.2.16. So let's go ahead and look for PHP 7.2.16. And let's go ahead and open this up. So what we need to do is we need to copy these PHP files to a specific location. So I am just going to go ahead and extract all and I'm going to create a new folder 
on the C drive. And I will just call this new folder PHP 7. So now I can browse and I want to install this in PHP 7 and extract. Okay, and now inside of my PHP 7 folder, I have all the necessary files for PHP. So we have the PHP installed. We then need to install the Visual Studio C++ redistributable. So that was VC. That is this file right here. So let's double click this. And we can go ahead and run through the install. And after that is installed, there's one final step that we need to do is we need to tell our machine where to look for PHP when we run the PHP command. So we can do that inside of our control panel. We will then go to system, and we then need to go to system. And we will go to advanced settings over here on the left, and we need to add an environment variable. So we are going to add this down here in the system variables to this path variable. So we're going to say that we want to edit this and we want to add a new environment variable. So we will just add C PHP 7. Click OK, OK, and OK. Let's close out all our windows and let's open up command prompt. And then we need to enter into PowerShell, and PowerShell essentially gives you access to more lower level functionality inside of command. So we will enter into PowerShell, and now we can run php-v, and now you can see that we're running php 7.2.16. So let's also create a new folder at c colon slash sites, and this will be where we will put all of our sites for, or all of our projects and all of our websites. So let's go to the C folder and let's create a new folder in there and just call this sites. Let's go here. Let's say we want to create a new, let's say text document. And let's open this. Let's open this with notepad. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to say question mark PHP echo hello world. So then I can save that. And I need to rename this. So I need to rename this to be index.php. And now if I go to my C folder, I can then CD into my sites folder. And I see that index.php has a .txt extension at the end, and we need to remove that .txt extension because it's not a text file, it is a PHP file. So I am just going to move index.php.txt to index.php. So now we have our new sites folder, and I actually just put the index.php directly in that sites folder, and we can run the same command, php-s, localhost 8000. So we want to serve up a localhost at localhost 8000 from this folder. And let's go ahead and do the same. Let's go to localhost 8000, and you can see now that we have our hello world. So we just installed PHP on Windows, and we can now create PHP applications and run PHP files. So that is it. We just installed PHP on a Mac and on a Windows, and we can now start programming in PHP and serving up our PHP files from our localhost. So I look forward to seeing you in the next video where we will be talking about code editors and PHP syntax. Hey, thanks for checking out this PHP Basics video series. Uh, I hope you follow me on Twitter, at T-N-Y-L-E-A. And if you're interested in moving on to the next video, go ahead and click right up here. And if you wanna check out my latest course called SAS Adventure, be sure to click right there and it will teach you how to create your own profitable software as a service. But that's it for now. Thanks again for watching and I look forward to seeing you in a future video.